Well, today, Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam paid the city of Pikeville a visit. Uh, it was there to announce a new state grant to help Bledsoe County's water system. You may remember our story back in August on water problems in Pikeville. About half the water pulled from wells never made it to tap. Now, that's thanks to an outdated pipe system that is filled with leaks. So does this new state grant address that problem? That's what News Channel Line's John Madewell asked the governor today. No, it doesn't. The city of Pikeville is responsible physically and monetarily for repairing its own leaking lines. However, the city did partner up with Bledsoe County to extend water service out to two areas in the south end of the county. Water is essential to life, and some people in Bledsoe County have clean drinking water from a well, but others don't. People living on Pope Road, Pope T Road, and Lower East Valley Roads will soon have water piped in from Pikeville. That's because the state gave the county a half million dollar grant. Bledsoe and Pikeville pitched in more than $150,000. This is a very competitive process to be awarded one of these grants, and so Bledsoe County and the city of Pikeville made great applications. The money is basically directed at very basic infrastructure needs, extending water lines so that people can have clean uh, uh, and, and affordable water. We're elated. I mean, we're tickled. And, and when you have money that comes in to help somebody who's really needing the help with the water lines, because we got folks down this road that some of them have dug two and three wells, and they're in dry season, they have no, no water. But this grant money does not go toward Pikeville's leaking water lines. An audit showed that they are losing 44% of water into the ground. That's money you're losing going into the ground, and we can't afford that. Mayor Cagle says in the past six months, the city has installed 1,500 to 2,000 feet of new water lines. But I do know that we have cut out our water losses by a tremendous amount. I'm anxious actually to get our next reading or audit on our water loss because we was like 40 something percent. We can't tolerate 40 something percent loss. Now there was another grant that was celebrated this afternoon. That was a 25,000 grant to the city of Pikeville and it will be used here in downtown. You may notice in the coming months there will be new awnings on the buildings that face out to Main Street. Streaming live from Pikeville, I'm John Madewell for News Channel 9. Now back to you. Okay, thanks, John. While we had his attention today, we also asked the governor for the first time for his take on the possibility of unions coming to Chattanooga, specifically at the Volkswagen plant. Tonight at 11, hear what he had to say. 